Since 2014, in the last five years, the diplomatic outreach of India carved a new path and gained a renewed momentum. It began with the singular aim to engage with the world and expand India's global footprint. The result of which is witnessed by its many diplomatic milestones that it successfully achieved. An era of new beginning dawned as India overhauled its foreign policy by making it more people-centric with its reinvigorated approach of India first and Indians first. The welfare of its diaspora took the center stage. This positively impacted the life and future of millions of Indians living across the planet. Jitna haq Hindustan mein rehne wale Hindustaniyon ka hai, utna hi haq yahan par rehne wale mere desh vasiyon ka. In the last five years, these missions have redefined heroism and patriotism, firmly placing the welfare of Indians abroad, the core of its foreign policy. This is the story of New India, the responsive India and a resurgent India. India first, Indians first. June 2014, soon after the new government came to power in India, it faced a situation where thousands of Indians were trapped at various cities of Iraq following the Iraqi civil war. As the news reached New Delhi, the Ministry of External Affairs immediately swung into action. Without any delay, 24-hour emergency helpline was set up in Indian Embassy in Baghdad and MEA New Delhi. To provide assistance to Indians stuck over there, special camps were set up in Najaf, Karbala and Basra in Iraq. Several Air India special flights were flown to the region for bringing home the stranded Indians. Many foreign nationals also were evacuated by Indian authorities. As a result of this massive and prompt effort by the government of India, 4,900 Indian nationals were finally brought back safely to India, out of which 3,900 citizens were assisted with air tickets as well. March 27, 2015 The severe unrest in Yemen led to enormous civilian casualties. An estimated 6,000 Indians got stuck in this war. The challenge facing the Indian government was to safely bring every Indian back to their homeland. Thus began the quick planning and execution of one of the biggest rescue operations ever witnessed in the world, Operation Rahat. The Ministry of External Affairs leading it from the front. So huge was the operation that Indian Navy and Air Force were brought in. Just four days later, on 1st of April, the evacuation began. Most embassies shut their offices, except India. As the world sat over and observed the situation, India began Operation Rahat to safely bring every Indian back to their home. Not only Indians, but 1,000 nationals from 41 nations were evacuated safely from Yemen. The entire world united in praising India's success in Operation Rahat, an unprecedented rescue mission ever witnessed in the world. May 2017 That one visit to Pakistan changed everything in the life of Uzma Ahmad. She went to meet with her friend Tahir Ali, a Pakistani national who forced her to marry him. She somehow got in touch with High Commission of India in Islamabad and stated her overall condition. The Ministry of External Affairs in New Delhi was determined to bring the daughter of India back to her own country. 
it started to pursue the case with full force. Back in Pakistan, the case went to the High Court. Eventually, on May 25th, in just 25 days, MEA successfully brings back the Daughter of India. It keeps its promise. Uzma finally touches the soil of India at the India-Pakistan Vaga border. Almost 3,000 kilometers from Pakistan, where Uzma almost lost herself. 40 Indian workers were in prison of the holy city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia in July 2013. Noshad Alam was one of them who had gone to Saudi Arabia to work as an electrician. The External Affairs Minister personally met with the Saudi Prince and requested him to waive off the fee and release the jailed Indians at the earliest. The hope lived. On 14th day, Noshad along with other fellow Indians touched down the soil of India. These missions were all possible due to India's newly adopted foreign policy and its successful attempt to forge strong diplomatic relation with the world. Geeta is a deaf and mute girl from India. She was merely eight years old when she unknowingly crossed over to Pakistan, away from her family on Samjhota Express, the only train that connects India and Pakistan. The case resurfaced after almost a decade. This time, under the present regime, MEA persuaded it with full vigor to bring another daughter of India back to her homeland. Finally, Geeta landed in India after more than 10 years. Today, leaving the past behind, they all are enjoying the sunshine of their life. To them, the architect of their second life has been this vision of a new India, of keeping India first and Indians first in all circumstances. A dream fulfilled by the government of India.